In this video, I want to show you guys how to migrate your pre-search node if you are running it on Flux. Let's say you're grandfathered in at 2000 pre and you don't want to unstake to go to the new minimum, which is 4000 pre and you just want to migrate. I'm going to show you guys how, so stay tuned and enjoy the video. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into your pre-search dashboard, log into your account. And as we scroll down here, we can see that I have four nodes with 2000 pre staked on them. But as we can see, one of my nodes with 2000 pre staked is not actually online. And then I have two new nodes who are online, but don't actually have pre staked to it. Now, since I'm running these off of Flux, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go into Flux, use our Zellcore wallet to log in. Obviously, just enter your pin. I'm assuming you guys know how Zellcore and Flux works. If you have set up your pre-search nodes with Flux, once you're logged into your account, you want to hit apps and you want to go to global apps. Now, once you're here, click my apps. Click the drop down and scroll down to where you're going to see your IP addresses for each of the nodes running on pre-search. Now, usually with Flux, you're going to be able to run three instances or three nodes just by paying for one month with your one Flux. And as we can see here, what I'm doing is I'm trying to see the IP addresses of the nodes that are connected, but don't have any pre staked to it. So as we can see, we have this 92.138.118. One of the IP addresses that I have that is actually online, but we don't have any pre associated to it. What you want to do is you want to go into Flux and make sure to turn this one off. This specific instance, you're going to want to turn it off by going to that specific instance, going into local apps, and then again into local apps, going to hit manage, and then go to control. And here you're going to be able to stop the app. And you just want to stop it. You don't want to click anything else because eventually you are going to want to restart that app. Now, what this did is we can now see that it's still there, but it's no longer connected. The green plugin is no longer there. And what we can do is, of course, make sure no pre is staked to that node. You can go ahead and delete that. And because I have the same thing for another node, a different IP address, we have the 99.58.167. We do the same thing. We go visit Flux node. Here, we're going to have to log in again. Sometimes it doesn't log your yourself in automatically hit the connect button is log in on your zell core enter your pin once you're logged in into that specific ip address do the same thing go to local apps and my local apps manage and go to control and you're going to be able to stop that specific instance now again if we move back over to pre-search nodes dashboard and we refresh that we're going to see that this node is no longer connected and that's exactly what we see here so we can go ahead and delete that from our pre-search dashboard so now once i've deleted that we are going to have four nodes three of them connected and one of them not connected with 2000 pre staked on it but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and select one of the two apps that we actually stopped we're going to start one of them back up we're going to go check the log files you can actually make sure that it is reconnecting as it is right now it may take up to a few minutes if not five minutes for it to actually Actually show back up into your pre-search node dashboard as we can see I hit refresh nothing happened I'm like okay well I'm just gonna continue waiting and this is basically the waiting game and as soon as it actually comes back online you're gonna be able to see it on your pre-search dashboard now as we go back to the pre-search dashboard I'm just letting it pass time right now we're gonna hit refresh and then boom you have it up and running we have a new node and the 2000 from my first node that we had on the dashboard has now been migrated over to the new node that we recently just started back up now obviously there's no reliability score because it just started so as it gains more requests it is going to build up that reliability score but this is the way to actually make sure you don't lose your grandfathered 
status because right now the minimum stake is now 4,000 pre as opposed to 2,000. And if you were to actually go and hit unstake or delete the node that you have a pre stake to, you would have to go back and actually put in the minimum requirement, which would now be 4,000 pre. So now I'm just making sure that all of these nodes are going to send me a notification once it disconnects. That just goes to tell me that I'm going to get an email and I'm going to be able to go do the same process and make sure I'm optimizing the amount of pre I can get for each one of these nodes. So that's basically how to migrate a node if you're running pre-search on Flux. If you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comment section below. If you want to talk to me on Discord, you can do that. Join the link in the description below. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it helped you out by any means, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.